For this next example, the series n equals 0 to infinity of x to the 2nth power over n factorial squared. This one is an example of one that isn't quite as obvious what you would compare it to. Uh, when we do eventually learn other methods, there might be a better way of uh, you, uh, coming to the conclusion that we're about to come up with without necessarily having to do the direct comparison test because I don't think this is as intuitive as um, example 5 and example 6a. So here we have x to the 2n over n factorial squared. So I want you guys to pause, hit pause, and think of which familiar function this mimics. Think for a moment what this might look like, what you might compare it to. So hopefully you guys came to the conclusion that it was pretty similar to e to the x, where e to the x is the familiar function x to the n over n factorial. However, um, we see that we have x squared in the spot where x is. So a, a better conclusion might be, well, we for sure know it's similar to the e to the x. We know that if we wanted to come up with what e to the x squared was, that if we plugged x squared in for our x's, that it would be getting us a little bit closer. So the series itself would look like x squared. So I'm kind of building to um, the conclusion that it's going to look really similar to uh, the series uh, for e to the x squared. And all I did was I changed the input for x to x squared. Okay, both of these are e, and we know for e that they both converge for all real numbers of x, um, that the interval of convergence is negative infinity to infinity. Now, so I have the idea right in the, in my mind that this is convergent so I will compare it to that one so now we just have to conclude or make a conclusion or set, establish an inequality saying that this convergent ceiling function is above the one I'm trying to compare it to so let's establish our inequality so we want to show that e to the or, or x to the 2n over n factorial is indeed above x to the 2n over n factorial squared. When I look at the two series that I'm comparing, one of them, both of them have the same equivalent top. However, what I'm doing is I'm squaring the bottom. It, squaring it is going to make it larger, particularly if n is positive, it's gonna make it larger. Therefore, a larger denominator means a smaller number, and this inequality does check out to be true. So since, We'll say since uh, the, the function that we're comparing to, the series that we're comparing to, x squared um, to the nth power x to the 2n over n factorial converges for all real numbers. Of x, so too does the series from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the 2n power or x squared to the nth over n factorial squared.